Tarot reading. This read is going to be on Lori, Lori Harvey, and Michael B. Jordan. Okay, because people been requesting this for a while. I don't care about these people. <laughs> now, people have been requesting it for a while, and I decided to do it today. Put something on my channel, okay? Because I just don't be invested in these people. So please like, share, and subscribe to the Crohn's Way channel. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. And please make sure you tap the notification bell, okay? So y'all get notified when I do the releases for these videos. Also for when I go live, okay? I be live now, y'all. Make sure you tap that bell, okay? Thank you for all the comments, the likes, and the shares. Make sure y'all share this and give me a thumbs up, okay? Because I feel like YouTube, y'all know how they be doing. Okay, so this is not going to be that long. Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey. Like, I just feel like the relationship is boring. Okay. <laughs> ah, y'all, these celebrities, I just do not be vested in them. I don't understand why y'all be wanting to be in their business. But here we go, okay. So, Spirit, show me the overall energy for Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey. Show me the energy, Spirit. What is the overall energy of their relationship? Nine of Pentacles, Six of Cup, Six of Cup at the bottom. So I feel like it's uh it's real love in between them. And I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles, now y'all know Lori with that man because he got money. Show me more. Temperance. Show me more spirit. Yeah, Temperance is like she wouldn't be with him if he didn't have money. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, a lot of Pentacles in here. I seen the Wheel of Fortune. The Devil card and the King of Wands is here. So their relationship is like. I feel like they have like a, a strong sexual chemistry in their relationship. The page of wands at the bottom. So it's definitely like chemistry here. It's like a sexual. And but the devil's here is a little bit um I feel like Lori is definitely with him because of who he is. Okay. Because if he wasn't who he was, she would not be with him. So it's because of like his work the type of work he does he's like abundant so that's why she's with him and i feel like with the devil here is like she gets into these she gets into relationships with people that are wealthy like she likes men she she and i feel like she's like a little bit aggressive like when it comes to like choosing her partners like she's i feel like she's a she's a little bit aggressive or it could be if she's not aggressive, it's like the people that pursue her is like aggressively pursues her, but she be with them for money. Like she wants the people with money. Okay. Straight up. But I feel like it's a happy relationship. Okay. Uh, Ten of Cups is here. The Hierophant. I mean, not the Hierophant. The High Priest is with the Emperor, Two of Swords, Magician, Five of Swords, and the Six of Cups. But it's still with a relationship is like secrecy going on. Uh, magician here. Like I feel like somebody is more so. Somebody in a relationship with this magician. I feel like uh, this is like Michael B. Jordan. Like he. I feel like he goes above and beyond to like try to make her happy. Like he really does. He's showing up as a magician. So it's like he do a lot of things to make sure that she happy. Because I see with the five of swords, like he don't want to lose her. 
He do not want to lose her. But I feel like with the high priestess and the emperor, like their relationship is pretty much, I feel like they, they like want to know industry relationships. But I feel like uh, Lori, like she really fell in love with him. She fell in love and I don't feel like she realized that she was going to fall deep in love with him like that. Three of Pentacles is here. So I feel like their relationship, like they like, they, they could be told to like, uh, I feel like they're told to like, uh, like, display like a certain amount of like affection it's like it's like i feel like they're told to like display certain things for the public like so what we be seeing i feel like they're they have people uh behind the scenes or they may have publicists or people that uh like tells them pretty much what to like put out for the public to see okay But I feel like somebody in that relationship with these secrets, I feel like with the high priestess, they like, they may end up like actually getting married actually with the high priestess, the emperor, the ten of cups. I feel like they may get married. I'm going to ask that question though, but I feel like they may get married, but I feel like it's like a uh, secret. It's like somebody got like a, uh, like some type of secret addiction. Show me who got a secret addiction. I see the four wands and the three of pentacles again. Ten of swords in the knight of wands. So I feel like, um, like Michael B. Jordan, like he, I feel like he really go hard. Like he go hard to, cause he don't want to like, he don't want this like pretty much to end. So I feel like he really go hard to like please her and like make her happy. So it's like he go above and beyond, like uh, spoiling her with gifts, like make sure that she's sexually pleased, like because he don't want to lose her. But I also feel like it's like, um, she could even be like this high priestess energy. Like she, I feel like, they're in like you know them the industry people like they be in so i feel as though like she she may not be a high priestess but it's like her mom might be a high priestess so it's like she it's like she's following some type of orders so i feel like her mom like even like tells her like certain people to go after okay what what other messages there's too many What else? Uh, are they going to get married, Spirit? I feel like I saw the Hierophant. I see the Eight of Wands, the Queen of Swords, Three of Swords, Strength Heart, and the King and the Queen of Wands. So, like, they both have, like, this strong, they have, like, a good sexual compatibility because compatibility, because it's the Queen and King of Wands here. So they definitely both have like this, um, like sexual, like a strong, like sexual attraction. And I feel like she, I feel like Lori, like she's being smart. Like she's smart. She's a smart girl. So it's like, I feel like she won't want to, it's like, she don't want to be like, Like, I feel like she don't want to experience, like, uh, like, hurt and heartbreak and things like that. So, I feel like she chooses, like, uh, people. Like, she kind of chooses them carefully, though. Seven of Wands at the bottom. So it's like, I feel like with the seven of wands at the bottom, like she knows that like Michael B. Jordan, I feel like he gets like a lot of attention. Like he have like a lot of people that like, I feel like pursues him. So I feel like she would want to get married just so 
you know, she have a person that she's like uh, sexually attracted to, like he's um, abundant and takes care of her. And I feel like also like he doesn't like break her heart. So versus she like she was considered this like a smart move or pretty much safe for her because she can be I feel like she could be like how who she is in front of him. I feel like they have some type of like uh compatibility like they both like have like the same things that interest them and I feel like she can pretty much like be herself around him. And she also thinks that it would be wise because she is she has experienced like heartbreak and I feel like Michael B. Jordan to her is like somebody safe. What else? Uh are they getting married? So I feel like um I feel like it's a possibility with the Queen of Pentacles here, the Ace of Swords in the Tower. And I feel like it's because of she had like a, a like a lot of public like relationships and they haven't been very like successful. I feel like she would like consider being like his wife or they talk about him being her wife. Him. They talk about her being his wife. Like they talk about marriage. Okay. And I feel like. It's three different queens here. So it's like, I feel like she, with him, she can, like, she, he's one of those people that she could really, like, she don't really have to hide. She don't have to hide nothing from him. Like, she could be herself. Um, she could be, like, sexually free with him. She can, like, talk about, like, her dreams and, like, things, like, intellectual. So it's like, they have an intellectual connection and, like, she's, like, comfortable, like, with him. So they have like, uh, I feel like they got good chemistry amongst them. They really do. And I feel like Michael, he's like, uh, like he looks at her like he could, she can be his wife. And I feel like he does a lot to like make her happy. And he does a lot to, you know, not lose her. So I feel like they, you know, their relationship, you know, it, it goes through, um, different things that we never know about like but whatever they go through is like their relationship is stronger than like any like he may have like uh but i feel like both of them but more so michael b jordan he had like a lot of energy um directed towards him and so i feel like they get through like all those things like um people i feel like people try to like come in between almost and and I say that meaning like not like directly like saying things, but like um a lot of people, I feel like a lot of women like put themselves like in front of him to try to like get his attention, but it's like he's like they have like this like magnetic attraction between them two. So it was like no one comes in between. And the King of Cups is at the bottom, so he's really emotionally attracted to her as well. So they have a lot of chemistry amongst each other. Okay. Um, is there any secrets? I feel like uh the lovers is here. And when I see lovers, I be thinking about multiple lovers, but I don't see no, it's four of wands, ten of wands, like And I'm looking at this Ten of Wands. It's like, uh, he's like, like Michael B. Jordan, like he's willing to take on, like he don't care about like, like her high profile lifestyle. Like he don't care nothing about that. He don't care nothing about even like secret uh, affairs that she may have had with people. He don't care. I feel like he feel like she the one. I see the world here for Wands. Like I feel like he feels like she's the one for him. So I feel like he going to just do a lot to like keep her. And I see the lovers. So they really have like this like divine connection between them two. Okay. So I feel like they're going to be together for a while. Are they going to be marriage and children spirit? 
are there going to be marriage is there going to be marriage i see the uh i seen the imp i seen the justice in a deck and i also see the death card and the five of wands so it may be like i feel like uh any competition that um uh, tries to come in between them like that is not going to affect like their relationship and i feel like it's people is is people that try to like uh like break them up and be like in competition but I see the Five of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like this is going to be a marriage, okay? Because the Queen, like they, y'all, they is super compatible because the King and Queen of Wands is out. The King and Queen of Pentacles, like he going to marry her. But I see the Five of Cups. So both of them, it's like they've experienced loss in the past. And now that they have each other, I feel like they not, they not going to like let up easy about their relationship. It's like they don't allow like people to come in like and I feel like it's like people try to just like be pretty much in competition or be relevant, but they are relevant. I feel like they going they going to be the, they going to get married because it's, they super compatible. The only king I didn't see is the sword and she's showing up as the queen of swords. So that's just telling me like she she knows what she has in this situation with him. She knows the heartbreak and the things she went to, through before. And I feel like she's willing to like, uh, she's willing to go beyond like, uh, like I feel like she gives people like time frames as far as like her relationship, but she's willing to like even go beyond that with him. It's like, she's still, she's still willing to like be with him, even though it's not like a solid commitment, but they both willing to like, basically stand the test of time and be with each other i feel like he gonna marry her okay i feel like he is gonna marry her so that's my reading on them like i ain't really trying to unless y'all have some other comments questions y'all can leave them in a the, um in the uh comment section below but i mean it, to me this was like a boring reading like I really didn't want to do this reading but <laughs> i did and i feel like there's a lot of a lot of chemistry amongst them okay a lot of chemistry uh i feel like michael b jordan like he i feel like he got a high sex drive and like he had women that really tried to like be competition with her or get his attention but he for her okay he for her and i feel like he want to ask her to marry him like but in due time because it was like the king of pentacles and a knight of pentacles so the knight of pentacles is like that's definitely in his like mind to marry that girl so i feel like it's gonna happen okay and i've seen the justice like creeping in the deck so it's just gonna be on their time so y'all just gonna have to wait on it okay because the empress is falling out with the 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 page of pinnacle it don't matter it's flipping in reverse whatever like she's the empress to him and i feel like they're gonna get married so yeah that's their little born little reading but I feel, I keep seeing this five of wands. Like they have uh it's it's lovers, it's people that try to like cause confusion. And I feel like it's on both behalves. Not only do people be trying to be in competition with with her, it's like guys even like probably like try to be in competition with him because she's a very pretty girl. So it's like they both have people like vying for their attention. But y'all, this is a divine connection. They ain't worried about y'all. Leave them people alone, okay? Y'all gonna be feeling all left out and lonely because them two is, their relationships wanna stand the test of time. Like they're here for it. They, they got something solid, okay? For a while. So anybody trying to come in between, find somebody else because they got a lot of uh chemistry, okay? Again, my bad for calling them born, but to me they are. Like, I would have never did them unless someone requested them, okay? And I even felt boring doing a reading. <laughs> Y'all, I just do not be invested in these celebrities. So, thank you for watching. Click the like button. Y'all, leave me some um, requests. Because the request that people will be leaving me is like, oh, God, why do you want them? <laughs> so, okay. And I'll be trying to cover all of them, but it's just like, I have to be in the mood to do like the celebrities. Cause I don't know. I feel like some of them just be like for a show, but they definitely have chemistry. So again, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Join me on Patreon. Okay. Because they see the videos first 
and they get exclusive videos that i'm not even releasing on youtube okay so join me on patreon because those are the uh the juicy ones <laughs> thanks for watching